equation. Why are you doing this? Really? I didn't think you cared. Well, unlike you, when I was a boy and I came upon a knife fury, I killed it where it slipped. Hello everybody and welcome, or welcome back to the That Wyvern Critic YouTube channel. Now today we're back yet again with How to Train a Dragon What If, with episode 7 of How to Train a Dragon What If, What If Grimmel was the first dragon trainer. This is definitely one of the most unique and actually bizarre ideas I had for How to Train a Dragon What If, and today we're going to be seeing how this alternate scenario could have affected the main How to Train a Dragon timeline. Let's go! Forty-two years before the events of the first How to Train a Dragon, our story does not start on Burke, but instead in a far, far away village known as the Embodiment of Terror, and the island which has the highest amount of dragon species all converging here. A seven-year-old Grimmel would have learned of the threat this dragon poses, learning of Skrills, Triple Strikes, Dead Whippers, the occasional Sin Shale or two, but mostly he would focus his studies on the Night Fury but specifically the individual who had taken his father from him, an elder which had a gigantic wingspan, a titan wing. Thirty-four years before the events of How to Train Your Dragon 1, a fifteen-year-old Grimmel would have found the den of a sleeping Night Fury and killed it where it slept. This crowned him a hero in his village and he studied their habits until it led him to the den of the titan wing. He would use his tactics as well as his newly acquired pack of dead grippers to subdue the titan wing and put it down for good. Grimmel would earn the nickname Grimmel the Grizzly for his ferocious appetite for night fury extinction. The leader of the Northern Alliance, Drago Bloodfist, would contact Grimmel and form an alliance with him. Drago would give Grimmel any resources he requires, while Grimmel would assist him with capturing dragons or assisting him with any of his projects. One year before the events of the first How to Train Your Dragon, Grimmel has successfully found the location of one of the final Night Fury nests. He first shot down the male and later found the female near their nest. She was already very weak, so it was easy to put her down. As Grimmel finished his work, he heard something from the inside of the cave. Grimmel lowered his crossbow at the baby, but it instead looked at its mother, whom was not moving. Grimmel dropped his crossbow and couldn't believe what he had done. He was reminded of hunting dragons in consideration and protection, but never extinction. He had became like the titan wing, Night Fury, who destroyed his village and took his family from him. Grimmel held the baby Night Fury and named her Lucky, as this was the lucky chance to change his ways. Grimmel would release his dead gripper pack, but he could not leave his past behind. Drago heard of his betrayal to the Drunken Hunter cause, and a bounty was placed on the former Night Fury Killer's head. A few days after Hiccup and Toolis defeated the Red Death, Grimmel would have prepared a makeshift flight suit from leather scraps and a few pieces of metal sourced from his now destroyed Dragon Hunter equipment. He would put the now one-year-old Lucky in a pouch on his back and glide to Burke. As they reached Burke, they landed in secrecy, not wanting to be detected by anyone who knew of the bounty. Grimmel crept into Gobber's workshop where Hiccup was working on upgrading Toothless's tail fin, but he heard the sound of commotion. He saw Grimmel in the back and yelled at him to show himself. Hiccup heard Grimmel speak his name and said that he meant no harm. Hiccup was scared to trust Grimmel, but stopped when he saw the baby and Night Fury fall from his pouch and crawl towards Toothless. In the many years that followed, Grimmel would establish a temporary base at the edge, but mainly reside in an abandoned dragon trapper fort. Grimmel would help Fishlegs and Hiccup document the many new dragons that they would discover. After the fight for the Bewilderbeast Egg, Drago ordered for Krogan's execution, but learned from one of his men that Grimmel was working with the Dragon Riders. Mm -hmm. 
the events of How to Train Your Dragon 2 remain almost identical. Grimmel, whom has went into hiding for almost a year now due to Drago's power growing stronger. Hiccup would learn of Drago Bloodvist's existence through Eris and all events would lead to the battle at Valka's Mountain. However, as Drago went to fight Stoic, he was instead hit in the head with an arrow. Drago yelled in pain and from the shadows, the former Night Fury Killer arrived, with the now 5 road Lucky flying alongside Toothless and helping to defeat the Armored Dragons. Grimmel assisted Stoic and they managed to subdue Drago. Grimmel knew that Drago's Boulder Beast was trained to do Drago's bidding from their prior encounters and remembered how Drago used his Bullhook to control him. He raised the Bullhook and snapped it in half, signaling the Alpha that it no longer needed to do this. Drago yelled at Grimmel, but he knew that the fight was lost. The majority of the Northern Alliance was defeated as more of Berk's allies arrived to help and Drago was taken to Outcast Island for constant surveillance. Despite there being more frequent dragon hunter attacks, Berk is still thriving. With two bewilder beasts, their chief still alive, and two highly intelligent dragon riders on Berk. Berk remains a utopia for dragon and viking alike. However, one night, Drago has broken out of Outcast prison and assembled his armada to defeat the dragon riders of Berk, but is especially directing his attack towards Grimmel for his betrayal. Drago shoots Lucky with a Death Gripper Venom projectile. Grimmel, disgusted that this was his own work, but frightened for Lucky's safety, chases Drago. Drago sits on top of one of his armored dragons flying fast and preparing to drop Lucky to finish Grimmel's job for him. Grimmel, with Toothless, flies off Toothless with his wingsuit and pushes both Lucky and Drago off the armored dragon. Toothless successfully catches Lucky, but the Grimmel and Drago fall to the depths of the abyss. Grimmel does not yell for help, but instead accepts his fate and finally forgives himself. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss what's coming next, like the next How to Train Your Dragon Explained, which you can help choose, or the Season 1 Finale, or How to Train Your Dragon What If, releasing later this month. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.